good. Oh, Dude, man. Tekken 7 looks badass. Can't wait to play Tekken 7. Yeah, I know, and it's gonna, and it's gonna be on, uh, it's gonna be on PC too. Yeah. I was also weird. really, I was also really excited to hear that they're, uh, they're still making, um, they're still making uh, Street, uh, Tekken vs. Street Fighter. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, it was like a big surprise. I thought that that game was dead. I think everyone thought that game was dead. I mean, after you play Street Fighter vs. Tekken, you would think it was dead. Uh, it wasn't that bad. It was a fun party game. Yeah, it I was. I think the amount of effort that needed to go into it went into it. <laughs> well, supposedly they, they, uh, they made it a little bit better. Let's see... Oh, I believe the Tekken team would try. Have you seen the endings they put in that game? That's a uh, fighting game. <laughs> yeah, I just hope they. Have, I just hope they keep with that really awesome uh, Tekken Force. You know, Tekken. Uh, Tekken was really the first game to do that. They were the first people to like be like, "Hey, we need to put some. We need to stop being bull. We need to stop bullshitting around with the single player. We need to actually put something in there." Yeah, and they gave us volleyball, and I never went back because <laughs> it was amazing. Oh, hey, Eileen. Going out for a night on the town. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. We're playing Silent Hill. How about that? Oh, uh, yeah. Silent Hill. We're going to the hospital. It's hospital time, I believe. Is it I the f hospital or is it the other apartment buildings? Uh, uh I hope it's the hospital because that means I we're... I think it's the other apartment buildings. Because I mean, if it's the, if it's the, if it's the hospital, that means we're close to finishing, <laughs> closer to finishing the game. Hey, dude, once we hit hospital, we're only halfway... Yeah, that's true. But Hospital was one of my favorites. Yeah, Hospital was a bomb. So I was telling Joe I've rediscovered my love for KOTOR 2. Yeah, I need to. I never played KOTOR 2. I honestly never got heavy in the KOTOR 1. I know they're on sale. I'm thinking about getting them because I'm, the, uh, I'm in the mood. I'm in the mood I for small. I never beat uh, KOTOR 2 because no one was lying when they said that was a broken piece of shit on the Xbox. <laughs> I remember I, I got so mad because I was stuck in a hallway and my character was janked so I couldn't shoot them or hit them and they would just keep slaughtering me over and over. Man, that's great. Good thanks, times. Thanks, Obsidian. Thanks, buddies. You wonder why I didn't buy New Vegas when it launched. Oh, <laughs> oh man, I was one of the sad souls who did. Yeah, Great. I yeah. remember that. Yeah, I traded. I traded in my uh, my yeah. I traded in my PSP to uh, get New Vegas, and then I remember because I was playing it, and like about like eight hours into it, my uh, save deleted itself. <laughs> Good trade. Henry's just like, ah, oh, not again. <laughs> Shy. <laughs> Oi, what a what a crazy night. Ooh. I'll smack you gob. I'll smack you gob. So Oi mate. Christ. Got me gob smacker. That's what we'll just call the bad from now. We'll call the gob smacker. Gob smacker. Never ending gob smacker. Never ending gob smacker. That's the bad guy. No, the child's the bad guy. <gasps> or are they one in the same? It looks like your apartment. What the fuck, Henry? Are you fucking kidding me? How can, <laughs> how can you tell? <laughs> looks like Detroit. I can say that I've been there. Yeah, this is just your average like day in Detroit. Complete with kid. Pur purple blood, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it is on the streets of Detroit. You're trying to beat working for that perp. Getting that perp out. James or uh, Henry, bend down and get that fucking note. Uh, it's stuck under the door. Are you fucking you kidding me? You can see it. If you can see it, you can get it. You have a baseball bat now. Got to do in here a 303. Yeah, we're almost getting to our favorite part of Silent Hill 4, which is the Electric Boogaloo Saga. Oh, Jesus. Can't wait to go back through the prison. 
So long as we ain't gotta solve any more puzzles, that'll be cool. This is a really interesting, uh, this is a really interesting design, because this is like the real, like, Silent Hill looking area. Yeah. It's just, this is where I got stuck. Yeah, this is the, uh, this is like the first location you really go into, and you're like, oh yeah, this is, this is definitely Silent Hill. I'm just trying to solve all the problems. But you're a <laughs> ghost. <laughs> you pick up that doll and uh it's just completely uh ah, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you pick up that doll it's like uh it goes towards the bad end, right? I can't remember, man. At least there's no fighting. Like past the monkey stealing our shit, that's where my memory kind of ends with. Yeah, this game. past the monkey parking lot bra, which was the bomb. Which was the shit. It was like the warriors all over. Again. Yeah, it was. Oh god, <laughs> I spoke too soon. All right, come on, assholes. Oh good, he's trying to take a nap. That's my cue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh man. They're not attacking me, which is super unsettling. It also makes the game really out I can't tell if that's like an obvious design choice or if that's just the game shitting itself. Uh probably a little of both. <laughs> that's a lot of garbage. Ooga. All right, Henry, don't move. <laughs> <laughs> I, I that would be really cool. I'd like to see like uh, Silent Hill Reborn as just kind of an adventure game. I always thought that'd be really neat. They just I've always wanted to free roam the town. Yeah, if they just made something like really like Mist or like uh, Vanishing of Ethan Carter, like ah oh, crap. Oh, I would love a Vanishing of Ethan Carter version. Oh, what the fuck. <laughs> oh god, I don't have any change! <laughs> Do you Leave still me. have your ghost dagger? Uh, I think I put it in the box. Oh, uh, yeah, probably not a bad idea. I mean, there's not really a whole lot of incentive for using it, because you can actually outrun the ghosts. I guess it's just so to buy yourself time, so you can just look at your own pace. Yeah. Steph Freeloader James there trying to get a hold of you. <laughs> oh, I have a cassette tape. I don't need a VCR, James. Do you know Meek Mill? <laughs> you know Meek Mill. I got I got Meek Mill. Oh, uh, buddy, you heard that new Meek Mill? He's, he's I got that I got that diss track, that Drake diss track. <laughs> After Drake destroyed on my hair, he'll take anything. <laughs> Holy shit, did Drake destroy Meek Mill. Drake went into reality and set shit up just so he could rap about it. Yeah, uh, that's true. Who was that's... it? I don't know. I didn't I didn't get into it, but I, I should really go back and listen to some of the songs. Because, like, when's the last time there was a diss track? Like, I mean, I know Ghostface... I think Eminem and Everclear. Yeah, I think, like, I know Ghostface Killa is, like, feuding with Action Bron Bronson. But that's not really a feud, because Action Bronson sucks. <laughs> like Ghostface well, Killers. I think, I think it's the same thing here. <laughs> no one likes Meek Mill. No one. No, fucking Drake destroyed him. It's a great fucking track, but the best part is Drake set up all the shit in real life that he raps about in like the span of four days, and then he made the diss track. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it was all part like of the he plan. Sent, he sent Champagne to a dude that Meek Mill was trying to get signed and signed him to his own label instead. Oh, gosh. Just so he could put it in the rap. <laughs> some bad, uh, some Metal Gear Solid shit going on right there. It was amazing. I've never, I've never really been a big uh, Drake fan. Maybe I should give I wasn't some... until he did the Meek Mill diss. Now I'm all aboard the Drake train. The Drake train. I think that's what we'll title this one on YouTube, Meek Mill Diss Track. 
get like a thousand views like we did for <laughs> Silent Thrill Triple X. <laughs> State of the Union. Uh, yeah, it good, worked. Good times. That'll just be my that that'll be my YouTube strategy. I'll just like name our videos after like <laughs> like <laughs> like Silent Hill Four ISIS beheading. <laughs> Silent Hill Four racist Hulk Hogan audio tape. <laughs> no, he'll he'll probably Confederate sue. Confederate flag rally. <laughs> yeah, Silent Hill Four Confederate flag rally. Gosh, yeah, Hulk Hogan to sue us if we try to. Yeah, that's true. He sued Kotaku. We don't want to. We don't want to fuck with Hulk Hogan. He's got too much time on his hands. If anyone takes like personal grievance with Kotaku like that far, yeah. Fucking Gawker, man, drowning in shit. Right. All my shit's locked. I bet I gotta go back to the apartment and pick up that slip of paper. But if Kotaku goes away, how will I ever know what to feel the opposite about? <laughs> You still got, well, no, Polygon clothes. Or well, that's good, though. Polygon was absolute shit. They didn't have anything to offer. Their reviews sucked. At least Kotaku has good reviews. Yeah, that's true. Kotaku still has pretty good reviews. You ever read uh, U.S. Gamer? Mmm, doesn't ring a bell. Uh, well, it's a pretty new site, but it's got a lot of the old 1UP crew. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I do love me some 1UP crew. Like, that's where uh, uh, Retronauts is housed there now, I believe. Ah, oh, dude, I, I remember the first time I played Demon Souls, I just had Retronauts playing in the background. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. 121. 1 out of 21. Now, Kotaku would be great if they just write about video games. I like it when uh, I like it when you catch them like doing some shit where they just like straight up like take a picture from like Reddit or 4chan and just like look at this. Check it out, this top ten list of shit we caught. <laughs> like yeah, it's like man, you guys are pretty fucking decent at reviewing games. Just stick to that. Yeah, I really miss their old game reviews because I remember one thing they did in their old game reviews was they put in like how long it took them to beat the game, which I always thought was really yeah, cool. Yeah, that was neat. Yeah. And what they beat it on and how yeah. much they did and. Yeah, and like if they had a if they had like a multiplayer, they put like how many uh, how many hours they put in multiplayer that kind of stuff. I always thought that that was a really novel approach to it. I still like that they don't give a grade system. Yeah, I like that too. Oh shit! Oh shit! Hide that! Hide... Sorry, I was checking to make sure. <laughs> Pros. <laughs> I was checking to make sure, that, like it says, I'm. I don't know. Damn, Twitch is weird. Let's see. Oh wait, no, I do have my ghost dagger. And it's not a dagger, it's a sword. Sword, excuse me. Okay, I guess... I guess Didn't I go... Didn't mean to insult me, fair gentleman. About your sword play. <laughs> I guess I just go back in the hole. Yeah, I like that they put the, the they put the like warp points like in like really obvious places. So they're just like, okay, you gotta go, you gotta go through this to continue, buddy. Yeah, that's pretty nice. My dog's just been kind of laying around staring at shit. The, the lawnmower guy came today, and I think it scared the shit out of him. Yeah, man. Yeah, pets are weird. Like I remember when I was uh, watching Batman with my cat, and then I got to like Catwoman scene where she's like in her house of cats, and she just yeah. like freaked out. She was like trying to paw into the TV, <laughs> which take me. Yeah, which made me feel really sad. It's like, oh, my cat's lonely. Her numbers. Hey, you know what? I, I, I was rewatching The Pacific again. The, you know what I just noticed? What? Sledge, the young kid. Yeah. Is Timmy from Jurassic Park? 
What? What? Uh, just Timmy. Get out of here. That's yeah. that's insane. That's awesome. I, I know, right? Turned into a little little racist. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right let's let's be. His fault. He's from Alabama. All right, all right. Let's be fair. If like maybe the dude doesn't like a good reason to be racist. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd be a little bitter too if people were trying to kill me. A little bit. Maybe a slur would get thrown out around the tenth time someone tried to shoot me. Yeah. We're not saying it's okay. Not okay. We just see where the dude's coming from. Oh. So, I mean, think about it. He's 10 and he had to outrun a Tyrannosaurus, and now all these gooks want to shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can't say that. Can't. Oops. That Sorry, one. I'll, I'll, post it a, I'll post an editorial explaining that I did it because it was entertainment. <laughs> yeah. 300 word, uh, 3,000 word editorial. 12 part YouTube series. <laughs> Gave me that rare porn magazine. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is that? What? Is, that's always a thing. It's like, oh, this is a super rare one. It's like, no, it's still just boobs. <laughs> but no, this was this was pre-internet, man. Your porn was rare. Porn was a precious commodity. It was like a physical resource that you had to hoard, like gasoline or water. <laughs> but what would define a rare one? It's like German armpit porn, or <laughs> yeah, I guess. This is really strange. There's a save point. Is that a save point? Yeah. No, no, it's not. It's just a... Is it not? No, it's just a red piece of paper. Oh, hey. How about I'll, that? I'll stick it under room 302's door. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty specific. What was this? Look at all these porno magazines. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I'm going to be busy. <laughs> Just keeps eyeballing the tunnel, trying to figure out how much he can get through at one time. Yeah. One oh five. All right. Smile Support Society. Yeah, that's not creepy. <laughs> the 4S. Even organization teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. I want a 4H thing one time. I didn't go. Is that like farming? I don't know. It was something in fucking school. I think it's farming. It's agricultural something. But I didn't go because I didn't like the people in it. <laughs> yeah, I want to be. I want one of those bullshit BPA awards. Because I took like a I took like a keyboarding class and I got like a 100 in it. Yeah. <laughs> Put on my resume for a while. <laughs> I kept showing up to DECA pictures until I was actually just in DECA. <laughs> <laughs> what what was DECA again? It's the business club. I thought that was BPA, Business Professionals of America. Well, it's the accounting something. Oh, uh, okay. You know. But if you look in our yearbook, I'm in all three, or I'm in all four DECA year photos, but I'm only a part of DECA for one of those. <laughs> Man, high school was fucking weird. High school was weird. I don't That's know why I did half the shit I did. <laughs> That's the point of it, though. It's 
like that's like I'm super cool and go take a picture I'm not supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get me all the pussy. <laughs> it's like, hey baby, you see that picture? I'm not supposed to be in it. You'll love me now, won't you? I remember when I was in high school, uh, I met this girl on MySpace, and then uh, we were talking like later that night, and I called her fat over MSN. <laughs> like, <laughs> I guess just trying as like a compliment, and uh, it's yeah. It's <laughs> like, hey baby, at least I know you're not hungry. <laughs> just, what what context would that ever work as a compliment? Uh, man, come on, man! I was like thirteen. That's true, and you were you. Yeah, I was. I was me. Shit, there's a ghost in. Well put together as you are now. <laughs> yeah, no, that's really. <laughs> there's, a, there's a ghost. Ghost just like wanders or way, go, going the totally opposite direction. Like it's like getting its fucking laundry out of the wash. <laughs> ah, the daily's closing. My dog bites my foot one more time and we'll kick him out of the house. What's with dogs and feet? Dogs and shoes. Is it just the leather? Or the synthetic leather? I think it's the smell. They, they just get hard when they, like, smell feet? Fucking red rocket it. <laughs> Whoa, there's a paper here now? <laughs> Whoa! Huh, he's been dead for seven years. That's creepy. Something about it bothered me. Yeah. Yeah, and this yeah, this is another really cool thing that Silent Hill 4 had going for it. Is that this really cool like murder mystery thing? Yeah. yeah it had a strong central story. Yeah, it did. It did have a really strong plot. I'd say much stronger than uh, Silent Hill 3. I'd say so. I think Silent Hill 3, any problem anyone would ever have with Silent Hill 3 is the fact that it's kind of like a send-up to the first one. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just like uh, there were two there were two different visions for uh, Silent Hill. Oh, God, I don't want any of your Cokes. I think there were two different visions for Silent Hill, you know, where Silent, Silent Hill 2 kind of came out as a big uh, big success, but they never really tried to go for that cerebral, you know, very personal kind of uh, kind of horror game. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and then they just, like, uh, I guess, like, they wanted to give uh, old uh, Silent Hill 1 the kind of sequel, the sequel to Silent Hill 1 and go back to... The whole storyline with the cults and shit. And, yeah, uh, that was kind of the problem. Yeah, the there... first one it worked because they were still super mysterious. Yeah. And then... The... Yeah. Yeah, Silent Hill 3 explained a little too much. The more you explain, the more you take away from the fear. That's the truth with anything. Full Look of... at The Ring 2, man. The Ring 2 was an awful movie, and not because they changed anything in the formula. <laughs> if you'd watched The Ring 2 before the first one, it would be just as scary. But just the fact they explain so much in those movies. Yeah, yeah, they explain it all the way. Same with The Grudge. Any any horror movie with sequels, the more you explain the bad guy, the worse it gets. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's what I love about Jeepers Creepers. You never learn more about that fucker than you did in the first movie. Ah, uh, yeah, Jeepers Creepers. Last of, uh, a, last of a dying breed, that Jeepers Creepers. Great, great, uh, great made-for-TV sequel. Yeah, it really was. Yeah, where they're all stuck on the bus. I thought that was a great movie. I love it when he, like, takes the dude's eyes and he's just staring into the bus, picking them out one by one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a great movie. Yeah. Creepers Creepers. Heartily recommend it and the sequel. Yeah, yeah. Can't say that a lot. Same thing with Wrong Turn. Remember how great the Wrong Turn sequels were? Oh yeah, just because they got, they just embraced it. Yeah, yeah, including what was it? Was it Wrong Turn? Was it Wrong Turn two or three that had Henry Rollins as the uh, Marine? That was three, I think. Yeah, because that's the one. That was a reality 
show. Yeah, that's one where it's like a reality show. So this is this is what this whole this whole uh, episode is gonna be about me picking up pieces of paper to put under my door. <laughs> it's like I love getting mail. Just no one will send it to me, so I'll send it to myself. <laughs> Dear Henry, how are you? Dear Henry, watch out for gorillas. <laughs> Also, another interesting thing I've noticed about this game, like, I've only picked up the, the pistol. I don't have anything yeah. else. Yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot in this game weapon wise, actually. Uh, I think there's a lot of melee weapons. Yeah, but not like actual firepower. Now that I think of it, I'll bet yeah, he was that. I put A and B together. <laughs> so can't get myself to throw it away. Alright. Well, that's creepy as shit. Good thing we don't live in room 302. Oh, wait. Practically bringing tears to my eyes. Don't think you should like pick it up. I mean, also I like how in this game, like the doors finally stop being broken, and they're just like, nah, this door won't open. <laughs> this door. I don't know why it just won't. <laughs> it's like they just—they gave up on that too. Door just won't open, buddy. Just fucking deal with it. The handle's completely gone. Better not open it. Well, I don't want to make the damage worse. <laughs> James is part of a preservation society for historical monuments. <laughs> just can't bring himself to do it. Smothering your wife's one thing, taking out an antique chair. Ugh. Spoilers if you haven't played Saw Hill 2. <laughs> Let's see. Keys to each apartment. Okay, it's keys to every apartment. All right. I will give it that. I don't. I don't think there's respawning monsters. That's good. I like that. I don't like respawning anything. Yeah. It just. It always feels so video gamey. Anytime yeah. it happens. Yeah, it's just one of those things that's just like too much. That's what I hate about uh, System Shock 2. Uh, you gotta get that mod that disables the respawning enemies. Yeah. It makes it, it, makes it so much better. Did Bioshock have respawning enemies? Yeah. It did, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Bioshock was uh, really closely related to uh, System Shock 2 in a lot of ways. Played a lot faster. Um, yeah. But it was still I mean, that is just technology. Yeah, yeah. But it, was still, it was still pretty primitive, uh, all things considered. Yeah. I really dug that game. Yeah, I dug the first Bioshock. I haven't. Uh, I don't think I ever finished the first Bioshock. Yeah, I remember because you, cause you gave it to me uh, when I got my Xbox and I killed it, like, uh, uh, when I was, like, because I didn't know that, like, you can't, like, touch your Xbox while a game's running inside it. So I uh, scratched, the disc, scratched the disc up. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because I'm like that. Because you're like that, yeah. That's okay. Anytime I buy a figurine or a collectible or a statuette or anything, and I let Aaron touch it, it breaks. That's true. No he broke your. He broke your. I think I saw him break your JV one time. Yeah, he did. It's not even. I don't even blame him anymore. It's literally the universe. It's a rule. If he touches a statuette, it'll break. 
So Ooh. if you got any fucking valuables and Aaron players at your house, just let them look. A lot of a lot of old video games. Oh and, man, what a nerd and loser! And the ghost. I think this is why they gave you the uh, sort of obedience, because this shit's fucking annoying as fuck. <laughs> fuck <laughs> off, ghost! Fuck, <laughs> fuck off, ghost! And that motherfucker. Ah, I'm trying to. Oh wait, doesn't it have to be charged or something? Nope. Oh, ho, ho, fuck you. Asshole. Little bitch. <laughs> so I was like, like, I gotta beat the fuck out of this ghost <laughs> with my baseball bat. <laughs> it works on the power of belief. Label says skinned Mike. Ooh, a cassette tape. Pretty cool. Guy has like a little studio going on. Pretty chill setup with his barbell so he can stay fit. Freaking red pillars. <laughs> oh god, it makes the most annoying sound when they're pinned. Like it. Yeah, it's, it sounds like a fucking soda, soda fountain machine, just like being backed up. <laughs> Although I do like this, I do like this level because like they put a lot of backstory into it, which is what I really like. Because you don't get, you don't get like a terrible amount of backstory in the rest of the levels. Right. And, like they really try to play up the uh and kind of like oh shit the dog in the room <laughs> whip its ass sorry about that what the heck was that did your dog just like hit a rim shot or something no it's my couch has adjustable armrest stuff on it. It's a fancy couch. Yeah. Probably can't tell because it's all really blurry, but uh, there's a lot of really cool, interesting writing on the wall, which is neat. I can kind of see it, yeah. I think this is where, like, this is definitely their strong suit. Yeah, this is this is probably the most uh, well designed uh, level we've been in yet. I think you can definitely tell that this was like the thing that they were really wanting to push in the game. And they should really think, what the fuck were they thinking with that prison? I, I mean, yeah, it probably would have made more sense if I'd been like paying attention, but I was too busy having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, no! Let's skin the Mike's oh, apartment. Golf ball. Oh man, he's gonna fucking love that thing. Dog sounds way more entertaining. I don't know, this level's not too bad so far. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's got a nice little surreal feel to it, especially shit like this. Well, that's disturbing. Yeah, Richard's revolver. Oh, he disappeared. You can see Eileen Galvin from here. <gasps> What's she doing in this world? Finally, someone who understands. Okay, Henry, play cool. Hi, my name is Savior. I'm here to Henry you. Ah, I'm screwed up. She'll hang me forever.
Do you want to go back to my apartment even though that there's no escape from it? I mean, it's just like a thing we could do. Or we could walk around Walmart. We could walk You want to go walk around Walmart? Silent Hill Walmart? This is just regular Walmart. Yeah, it's a regular Walmart. Nothing's changed at all, even in the Nightmare version. <laughs> Now the nightmare, ver the nightmare version of Walmart is that you look down and you're wearing a blue apron. Uh... <laughs> I got another golf club. Oh boy, more doors. What's in this one? Another ghost? Ooh, scary. Whack, whack, whack. <laughs> <laughs> Although, to be fair, that's how it was in Silent Hill 2 as well. Like, we were, I had like a fucking armory in Silent Hill 2. I would just like walk through the hallways, just like blasting my pistol. Fucking look like the Terminator going into that final <laughs> boss. <laughs> yeah. James, why did you? Oh, what the fuck? And it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, my dead wife's demon, come back to haunt me. I better pump it full of t t shotgun shells. I'll make it fair this time, honey. <laughs> you choose. <laughs> <laughs> Flavor of death, you want? <laughs> it's true. You fucking lit her up with every gun you had. Yeah. It wasn't even challenging, you would just run one way. Yeah, just like run from one side of the room, shoot, run to the other side of the room. But then yeah, that's like all Silent Hill combat ever. Uh, not till Homecoming. I'm still saying, I'm excited to get to Homecoming. I'm hoping that like that game, people see it's not as bad as they said. Yeah, I'm excited to play it too. I just wonder how we're going to play it because it's still like 40 bucks on, uh, on Steam. That's because it's fucking Konami. It'll never drop. Yeah. Isn't now it? Was yeah. That produced by them? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'll never drop in price. <laughs> All right. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Oh God, I'm sorry. I took your red piece of paper. I don't have any change. I have a friend named Kickass Steve, and he'll probably let you borrow it from him. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of ghosts, uh, there's a girl at work who likes, whoa, check out that picture. <laughs> <laughs> How's it hanging? 107, he listens to great music. Anyway, speaking of ghosts, there's a girl at work who like swears that her up and down that her house is haunted. And like, I mean, maybe it is. You know, you but don't want to say no. You yeah, don't but it, but it's just the way it's coming out of her mouth. It's just you make it sound like bullshit. Yeah, it's just like it's like she makes it sound so stupid. She's just like, so there are these two mediums that came by, and they came by with two of their students, and the students said they could feel something. <laughs> Why didn't I sign up for fucking ghost school? I didn't know that was a thing. I would have went to college. <laughs> it's like the mediums came by and uh, they said the blah blah blah. They took this picture. Here, let me show you this picture. And it's just like obviously a Photoshop fucking ghost. <laughs> it's like, look, that's Jack the Ripper. <laughs> it's like, uh, you know. The Tennessean house, Jack the Ripper. <laughs> <laughs> they just decided, hey, weather's nicer over here. Just gonna chill. You know, she's also one of those people that has like that bullshit like Civil War connection or it's just like my 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 great great grandpappy was in the blah 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 and the regiments and the do 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 and the like it just it just sounds it's so like, they talk about civil war ghosts, it's like, Man, your house was built in like nineteen ten. Yeah. It's like I hate to break I hate to bust your bubble, but buddy. it was built on Civil War ground. Yeah, the battle happened like four hundred miles that way. Can't use this here. What do I need to find? Do I need to find tape? How do I combine things? I'm not 
sure. Oh wait, wait, no, I just stick it under there. There we go. I was about to say, come on, come on, Henry. You can put more than fucking one piece of paper under your door. That's a big door. So yeah. Anyway, she's got bullshit ghosts. Yeah, she's just got bullshit ghosts, and I hate it because it sounds like she like paid people to, like come in and walk around her house, and then like take a take a picture with like some Photoshop shit going on in it. Some people are willing to pay to believe, man. That's just how it is. I mean, yeah. You yeah. know how into that shit I am. Oh. Uh, I get it. I get wanting to believe enough that you'd pay. <laughs> yeah, some, gosh, some lady at work was like, you're a literary guy. How would you like to read this book? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean, <laughs> bitch? <laughs> how, would you, how would you like, How I thought you might be interested in this book. And it's like some shit about some, Call like. Call me the Unabomber? <laughs> it's like some shit about like some ministry. And I'm like, man, why don't you give me, I'm, oh God, I'm surrounded by people that just like fucking Don't shovel. Get... Yeah, just shovel garbage into my ear 24-7. Although some of them are funny, so at least they're funny, and I can get that. But then, like, every, then I gotta, like, turn my head, and then there's, like, racist Jim, who's just like, oh, blah, 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 black people, I, I don't like them. Uh, here, read this news, read this, like, news story with no sources about how a Marine brought a gun to work and got fired. <laughs> but he was white. No, <laughs> goddamn Obama's fault that Harley Quinn wasn't Red Hood. <laughs> He was in Eileen Galvin's room. Does he blame himself for the Confederate flag being banned? Probably. <laughs> Always watching. I should have never told my cousin Jim, I'll bet you the Confederate flag rats at the Harley Quinn's Arkham Knight. <laughs> <laughs> just regretted it every day. <laughs> And it's like you gotta wonder, like, do do racists really read the things they say they like? Because at no point in time does Batman come off as a racist. No, I don't think so. I think that I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. I think like I think like when you're a hick and you're that you're just like you're you're just a hick. <laughs> like that's. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's just like how you believe, like uh, you know. Even if... the week just goes over your head, like you get the episode about Batman wasn't just about just gorillas of different colors getting along. It was, it was just gorillas getting along. That's, you just don't get the deeper meaning on it. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just like you're just a hick, and if it's not like the Confederate flag rally, you just go and do some other hick shit. <laughs> on your Saturday, we had a Confederate flag rally, and it and it really pissed me off because they fucking held up traffic. Uh, it wasn't like it wasn't like a real thing. I was just trying to get to like Burger King, and uh, you know, there's like all these trucks with Confederate flags, and like holding up the rear was like a really shittily painted like uh, slammed uh, Honda Civic with like a. Uh, it didn't even have like a Confederate flag on it. It just had like a Confederate. Somebody like painted a Confederate flag on the hood of it. <laughs> it's like all... so, so your big concern is it is it anything to do with the politics or race? It's like motherfuckers are keeping me from Burger King. No, no, they will they will cause a riot if they're holding up traffic. That's a thing. Take That's your fucking bakery somewhere else and eat it my way. <laughs> <laughs> that's how the race. That's how the race war starts. That's how the apocalypse starts. It's like a bunch of hicks. Yeah, just a bunch of hicks holding up traffic, and they're just like, just like the wrong dude, just like pulls out a gun. It's just like it's over. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> the fast food chain wars. Of <laughs> I was listening to I was listening to a Harmon Town and he was talking about how Floyd Mayweather came out with the Burger King <laughs> to his fight and he's just like, Well what if the other dude had just come out with like Robert, Ronald McDonald and instead of like fighting like Ronald McDonald at the Burger King, they had just like just like got into the ring and just like shook hands and that's just like how the race war starts. <laughs> Oh, 
so what are we doing in this game again? Uh, I'm running around. I'm I'm looking. I'm doing like the creepy landlord thing. I'm going into people's houses, <laughs> going into people's apartments when they're not around. When they're not around, like taking their shit, judging them, putting letters, putting passive aggressive letters under their door. Well, that that shit's the most frightening thing to happen in this whole. The whole game. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm kind of lost. I'm kind of not sort of know where I'm going. I think. Jeez, that doesn't sound familiar at all. Well, now there ain't shit trying to like solve a puzzle. I'm just like walking in the, in the rooms looking for like the last doodad that I that I need. See, this is where I got stuck. I, I could not find the last note thing, I think, is what it turned out to be. You know, you might be, you might be right. Oh, shit. Well, I know I got past this part, so if, like, high school me can do this shit, like... I don't know. High school me accomplished a lot of shit. Somehow he beat Nocturne. Yeah, that's true. High school me was hardcore. Yeah, I didn't have no life. Ah, uh, fucking bees. <laughs> Oh, look at just some make some fucking angry golfer swinging at bees. I know planet would you ever hit an insect swinging that slow? Fucking ghost. Is this an Jim Kalf is ahead of us, Jimmy? <laughs> Damn, it's broken. Oh! Wait, I got bug spray. I use that for something. Make a flamethrower. That'd be great. I wish. Did you already break? Whoa, what the heck? Did I already break what? Oh man, I got two ghosts. Oh man, this is serious. Careful, watch your health now. Man, my dog is losing his shit over that fucking golf ball. I don't know why, but like I was trying to run into that door to open it, and like Henry was just like instead of like opening it. I think oh, I think it was because the ghost was popping out of it. Probably. All right, I haven't been down to the first floor yet. Let's do it. Or wait, have I been into the first floor? Just in that door, all right. Yeah, I like the really cool designs of all the apartment buildings. It's got like a weird spiral thing going on, which I like. The design's pretty on point. Phone's ringing somewhere. Maybe your apartment. <gasps> Rachel the nurse. Now, uh, that's not linked to anything else, right? As far as we know, Rachel the nurse. Was that not? What was the name of the nurse in Silent Hill One? Uh, I don't think it was Rachel. Was it Amanda? Ah, shit. Oh fuck. The ghost has a wine bottle. Oh god, the wino ghost. I don't have any that money. <laughs> I need you to take me to the utility board. <laughs> uh, I got a court date. <laughs> you got a court date. You got a tie. 
Yeah, you got it. For your overalls? I, I don't know. I think this is why they gave me the, the dagger here, because the ghosts are starting to chase me. Alright, come on, Cletus. Grow your own vegetables, Obama's poisoning the pork. <laughs> oh, come on, you fucker, don't die on the couch. I'm, I'm seriously just sad that Obama's going out, because now I'm not going to have any jokes. That's true. Like, where am I going to get my enjoyment from if not blaming Obama for everything? You'll get to blame Hillary Clinton. No, that's not the same. It'll probably be true. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Cletus takes a lot. Put that motherfucker in the ground. I'm trying to. He won't stay down long enough. <laughs> Rising higher. <laughs> fighting longer. That, oh shit! Can you not stab him with the ghost sword? No, no, I can't. It's not that kind of. It's not that kind of ghost sword. You can actually use it. Motherfucker's wrecking you, man. I know. Just leave. Run. Just run. But there's, there's, the, 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 there's got to be something in here. Jesus. Fucking intense. And there's like no healing items in this game. I guess I, I was trying to get the phone. And wait, wait, wait. No, Rachel is somewhere in here because I remember him saying that he looks at Rachel. So it's one of these numbers. So I guess I gotta go back into all the places. Look for a... <laughs> Look for a ringing phone. Cletus on your tail. Yeah, fucking Cletus on my tail. What does that say? That's superintendent's room. Ooh, Jesus. Wait. Wait, wait, that locker. It was like one oh it was like one oh something. I think it was 106, because that was the one I went into. I think it's one of these. Ah, uh, fuck you! Go, just stomp on him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now what, what? What insect can like survive like two hits from a bat? Let's let's be honest here. Like evil dream B or not? I don't know, dude. Have you seen Japanese hornets? That's true. That's probably what they are. Japanese hornets in America. Knew he's a crime lord imported them to take out an enemy. <laughs> he's a crime lord. That does sound like some kind of like a uh, plot point in the Yakuza game. <laughs> Suplex these Japanese hornets. If those games weren't surprisingly long, I would say we need to stream one, but they are. Yeah, there is. Games have length. Yeah, those are pretty up there. I love the hell out of four, man. Four was my jam. I'll be honest, I don't like. I know you used to own Yakuza One on the PlayStation Two. I think like that hour of Yakuza One that I played at your house, like one morning, is like the only Yakuza I've ever played. It's worth it though. Yeah. I wish you would have gotten that one that was like set back in feudal times. I know. I was disappointed in that, man. Well, at least we got uh we got way of the Samurai Four on the uh, PC. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Remember when I beat up that cop? And he joined my my dojo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I now see the truth. The justice I've enforced has been a lie. How could justice be strong when I'm so weak? 
They uh, beat up that old lady. And then you just made them do laps. Yeah, I just made them do laps just all the time. And then they died when that person came to my dojo and challenged me. And then that person... You didn't get there in time. Yeah, and then that person killed me. Huh. A moral was somewhere in there. <laughs> Gosh. Wow. <laughs> Henry... Gosh, dang. Henry really flexing his like inner his like inner like drywall installer right here. Oh, God damn it! Yeah, I'm fucking dust mite. I know our original price line was around forty two thousand, but this project alone has gone up another five. We're gonna have to cut back on the scaling of the wall. <laughs> We're gonna have to cut back on everything: the paint, uh, uh, the walls. We're just gonna... like, I know you wanted ceramic, but I'm telling you, marble's a cheaper alternative that looks just as good. <laughs> <laughs> this person seems trustworthy. He's got a he's got a credit card with the Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> so now, how am I gonna keep affording this house after you guys leave? See ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I finally got a gun. It's a model. Oh, you asshole. <laughs> That's really fucking good. And then they give you pistol bullets. Well played. Good going, game. <laughs>